Hi, and welcome to another episode of Essential SQL Minute. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the in operator with a subquery. So as you may recall, the in operator is used to compare a column to a list of values. Now, how what we're going to do here is generate that list of values through a query. So as you can see here, I've put together a query. The portion that's listed in green is the subquery. And you can see here where I have a query saying select ISO Alpha 3 code from application countries where ISO Alpha 3 code is like um, J percent. So essentially bring back all the ISO Alpha 3 codes that start with the letter J. So that's going to build a list of all the ISO Alpha 3 codes beginning with the letter J. I'm going to use that as kind of the, as basically the um, list for my in operator. And then my outer query will then be run and its ISO Alpha 3 code compared against the contents of the results from that subquery. This would be very similar to running a query where I had, in effect, independently run a query to get all those ISO Alpha 3 codes and then manually type them into my query as JAM, JOR, and JPN, and then run this um, as a separate query. So let's see how this works in Query Manager. So here I have my subquery with the in clause. Here's the subquery. It's going to bring back all the ISO Alpha 3 codes that begin with the letter J. My outer query here is going to run its column ISO Alpha 3 code will then have its value compared using the in operator to the con to the results of the uh, subquery. So when I run this, you'll see that it comes back with JAM, JPN, and JOR as the results. Notice that the subquery is enclosed in parentheses and that multiple values are returned. I want to mention that if I was to have put, let's say, country name in here in my subquery and run it, that it will return an error because in this case for the subquery, since it's part of the in clause, it's really expecting one, one value per row being returned. So let's see how this works. So this is really similar to, again, the query if I run, be similar to this query here, where I would run select, where I'm looking for the ISO Alpha 3 code in JAM, JOR, JPN. So in fact, really, to get these three values, how I could have found those three values is by running a query similar to this, right? Where I would have said select ISO Alpha 3 code uh, from application countries where the ISO Alpha 3 code is like J%. Percent. And there you see JAM, JPN, and JOR. So there's my three values. So if I was to take this query and use this as a subquery, I can effect pump the results, these results here, into that in list and then use that as a comparison. So if I go back to my original query, let me, let me get another copy of it here. Here we go. I'm now taking the results 
of that query where I'm getting JM, JPN, and JOR from here, pumping the results into this end list, and then using that to drive the comparison for my outer query. The benefit of doing that versus just coming in here and, and straight out typing JAM, JPN, and JOR is that if we were to add a fourth country like JYP, then I no longer have to change my query because this query here is flexible and that it will capture any new countries that begin with the letter J. Where if you were to add new countries beginning with the letter J and I was hard coding them in, I would have to always come back to my query and remember to always type them in. And you would always have to remember to tell me to change my query. So to me, a huge advantage of using subqueries in this case is that they become more robust because they adapt to the changing data. So in my mind, this makes the subquery very powerful. Now on the flip side, the danger to using the subquery is that you really do have a query inside of another query. And people sometimes get a little nervous with subqueries because they can get overused. And sometimes subqueries can cause performance issues. I know in this specific case, it won't cause a performance issue, but you do have to be careful when using subqueries in general that you will not cause performance issues. So um, beware in general of not overusing subqueries. I know in this specific case, uh, you, you, you'd be all right. So um, I feel strongly that uh, using subqueries in the end clauses can be a good thing. And uh, it's definitely a powerful tool to keep your code robust.